<laughs> you don't have time. You don't have it. <laughs> hey there, hearts and rebels. It is Moscow bringing you another video, and today we are going to be reacting to Shira and the Princesses of Power, Season One, Episode Nine. It's called uh, "No Princess Left Behind." Interesting. The last episode was manic because we left off with bloody. Like, Catra didn't have her sword, she bow and and, um, and Glimmer had been taken away and just, yeah, and Catra was being a wee shit. I just realised something, right, because I thought that all the, the mermaids, uh, sorry, all the mermaids, in here, all the princesses' names ended in A, because that was like the hint that Scorpia was one, because you have Marmista, Entrapta, She-Ra, but then Glimmer doesn't, that doesn't, is it because it's her mother? Mm. And then it was just making me think of Catra. Probably a coincidence. But anyway, right, okay. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm an idiot and I put videos up on the internet reacting to shit like this. If you want to come along on this journey with me, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hey, thumbs up the video because it really helps me out too. And if you want access to the full uncut raw disaster, because it is a disaster, we're already at three minutes and a half, three minutes and 20 seconds in to this video. On the, uh, uh, on the outside recording. If you want access to the full uncut version, you can click the link in the video description below to my Patreon. It's enough fanning around though, let's just fucking get started. <sighs> okay, here it is, and let's click play. No, it's not play button, that is a minimize window button. Fucking brain is not working today. <laughs> Shit. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna get through today. We're gonna get through this together. Okay. What is, what, is, what is she going to do? How is she going to get them back? She's going to have to ask the other princesses for help, right? And trap them or miss them. Check this thing out. Oh shit. Oh, she wouldn't have liked that. I commend you on the capture of the Princess of Brightmoon. Queen Angela has been given until the morning's moonrise to surrender herself to our force. Thank you, Lord Hordak. I thought you would be pleased with my word. You're under my command force, Captain. Therefore, anything you manage to do right is credited to me. Oh. So I do all the work and you get the glory sometimes? That is exactly what it's like in a workplace, so isn't it? You have to, like, see when you sign up to workplaces and stuff, you have to sign that stupid contractual agreement that's basically saying that anything you produce whilst you work at that company is, like, rightfully owned by the company and shit. And, yeah, so it's like, you... Uh, I hate that. I hate that for a leader because, like... One of the best messages I ever got, and it came from the land before time. Like I can't remember which movie it was. Was it Six or something? I don't know. It was one of the one of the many movies that I watched growing up as a kid. And one of them, there was this uh, pterodactyl who wanted to be a leader, and I always remember one of the characters in it saying that this isn't going to be word for word, but they basically said that a good leader delegates praise when things go right but takes the blame when they go wrong and I've always remembered that and so in any situation where I'm seen, seen as being a bit of a leader I will always live by that kind of philosophy so see like movies and shit do teach really important lessons growing up so yeah this here would have been the ideal time for you to delegate the praise you know it wasn't just your idea it was your team your team get the praise your team you know it, mm, it just tells you the kind of person the Shadow Weaver is a dick. And that's just the way you things. No, it's not. It's really fucking not, you wee shit. Oh, Glimmer! No! No, 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 no! No! Oh, I can watch the intro now. Yay! Okay. Okay, I think we're going to ask all of the princesses for their help, aren't we? We have no guarantee the Horde will hold up their end of the bargain. We could end up losing you too. A rescue attempt is too risky. If we had she we might have a chance, but without the Sword of Protection. Yeah. There has to be another way. We can't just give up. I can rescue them. I know the Fright Zone. I'll find a way to get them back. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know yet, but I'll think of 
something. I promise. I'll bring them home. Uh, Dora, that's a lot of uh <sighs> pressure on yourself. You're so young. The fuck? Yes, thank you. Yes, yes, okay. Okay, I'm excited to see how they all work together. Mmm, this'll be really interesting because they've all got really unique powers. So it's gonna be really intriguing to see the crossover. I'm also just kind of excited to see Entrapta like mingling with them all a little more because she's fascinating as a character and I really li I like even editing the last episode the princess prom like she grew on me even more when she was introduced in her first episode it was kind of like there was a lot going on a lot happening so I didn't really get to know or like her character too much because it was all like really fresh and, and new but now that I'm settling into things she's becoming slowly one of my favourites. I've already really liked uh, Marmista. Hopefully I'm saying these names right. But right from the get-go, because of her, like, meh, attitude. I love it. I just think it's great. Okay. Sure. Is that all right? Uh, I guess. But no one ever talks to me. Okay. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. I'm Bo. Can you do me a favour? Can you tell me where they're holding the princess? You have to help me get a message to her. Uh, Why? I better be leaving now. Yeah. No, wait. I like your shirt. I really like Kyle as a character. I want I want Kyle to like uh, defect. I want that's what I want. I want him to to end up joining these guys cuz I think he'd be better appreciated by them. Poor Kyle. This is the Horde prison. Glimmer and Bo are being held inside. Entrapta, this perfume bottle is you. I feel like perfume should be the perfume bottle. That makes the most logical sense. I agree with you, Entrapta. Could I be this miniature painted model of Bo? No! Those represent Bo and Glimmer, and this one's mine. Bo made them for us. Okay, just Aww. everyone focus. Bright Zone sewer system. She'll swim through the pipes into the building and open the door. I'm sorry, Mermista will. What? Okay, I know it sounds bad, but you're the only one who can breathe underwater. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. Super gross. Great. <laughs> represented by the go. Why does that work for him? Why is that so good? Okay. Neutralize any guards on patrol and trapped and perfume will regroup on our position and the team will enter when Marissa opens the door. Oh, what a shame. Not going well. Should be in place by now. No, she's not. And that's because the the age old storytelling trope of when you explain the plan to the audience, the plan goes wrong. Happens all the time. So uh, or it doesn't quite go according to plan. Don't make it bare for them. Really good idea, Perfuma. That's a very good idea. Oh dear! 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 Hide! 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 Halt! Who are you? Me. I'm the inspector. I'm here to inspect all the things. Oh. 
She could pretend like it's real. Yeah. Yeah. But it's gonna be a trap. Right? It's gonna be a trap. It is gonna be some kind of a trap. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you did. You, but come on! <laughs> oh dear. Glimmer. No. Yeah, magic doesn't work there. No, that's why she's been kept in something like that. You're just gonna hurt yourself. Straight sword. Shame if we had no princess to exchange for the queen. It's such a bitch. Everything seems to be up to code. Yes, indeed, entirely up to code. Trapped up. That was a top notch rescue. To be honest, I wasn't sure which one of you I was going to hit. Okay, I can't both sell, but. Oh, gosh. Yep, okay. Do you know what though? She did it. She, she did, it doesn't matter how she got it done, she did the thing. She did it. That's all that matters. Well done, Entrapta. Can yes, see what everybody can. loves and trapped out. I can see it now. Oh, Bo. Oh, Bo. Kyle, I'm supposed to be in the barracks. Bonnie made me cover her latrine duty. What's going on? I found out where your friend is being kept. Shadow Weaver has her in the black garnet chamber. Oh, that sounds bad. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. I guess because you're the first person who's ever listened to me. Oh. I mean. I'm being held prisoner, so I don't know that I have a choice, but sure. <laughs> oh, poor Kyle. Oh. oh no. Not good, not good. No. Oh, it's hard. 
just so hard to like yeah to go up against somebody that is technically classed as your friend oh dear that's not good oh no this is a mess Friendship for you, for Kyle. It's nice. Boom. There it goes. Yeah. I love the two of them. For Kyle. For Kyle. Ooh, you need to get. You need to get, you need to get, you need to get! <laughs> because now Catra is probably gonna arrive! <sighs> and Shadow Weaver too. <sighs> you don't have time! You don't have it! You don't have it! Use my favorite word. Oh. Oh. <sighs> right. Fuck you, you cow. But I mean, like, Adora doesn't want to be your force captain, so why are you? <sighs> and after everything that Catra did as well. Mm, I know there's five seasons of this. I'm trying to think logically now. I'm trying not to. I don't want to get my hopes up because I've heard loads of people say there's going to be loads of Catra no moments. So I don't think this is going to be enough for Catra. I just don't think it's going to be enough. But it should be. Oh, I hate the way that they treat her. It's gonna be like a mind because control thing. Mind, you have no memory of what? No. Oh shit! So Shadow Weaver doesn't just like manipulate; she actually has powers over people's minds. Is this the first that we're hearing about that? Obviously we'd seen like her manipulating and her using her magic to try and get her own way and to insert thoughts and things into people's heads. But this is like the first time. Uh, does she have to be in contact with a the person then to use this kind of power? Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Shit, okay. Is she going to get a power upgrade? Oh, 
Nice, Glimmer! Oh. Adora, are you okay? Did it work? I know who I am. Glimmer. Oh, thank goodness. Well done, Glimmer. And dropped up! Got no power light. Oh no! Oh, teleporting out of that thing has. Oh, somebody's mad. Hi, Catra. Uh. <laughs> Can you go eat here now? Wait, hi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. Catra. Yeah. Should we give her it? What are you doing? Take it. Why? This is not because I like you. Interesting. Catra's going to come up with another plan then. So Catra said originally in the last episode that she needed to impress Hordak and Shadow Weaver. She didn't get either of those things technically because Shadow Weaver took all the credit from Hordak for what she'd done and then didn't care like just cast her aside within seconds so now she's gonna have to come up with like plan b to getting what she wants interesting i love a story with really in-depth character stuff and catra is a fascinating character what about entrapta what about entrapta what about entrapta what about entrapta What do you mean? She's gone. No, she's not. The rule of thumb is unless you see a death happen on screen, they're not gone, right? The robot probably protected her or her own hair, whatever it's made out of, is like she'll she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Well then we have to go back for her. No, she's she's really gone. No, she's not. You didn't we didn't see a body. We didn't see a body, she's fine. But that doesn't make it suck any less for these guys. <sighs> She's fine. So does that mean... Oh, but that was set up in the princess prom, wasn't it? That Entrapta and Catra... Like a little alliance between the two of them. Entrapta doesn't really care so much that the Horde is who they are. She is fascinated by all the shit that they've got. So, that is going to set up potentially Catra and Entrapta working together. Right? Hmm. Kind of excited to see that, not going to lie. Kind of excited. Alright, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. I'll take that, I'll take that. Right, okay, how many episodes have I got left of this season, actually? I don't even know. Is it 12 or something? So, what was that? 9... 10, 11, 12, okay, 12, is there more than that? No, 13, 13, okay, I'm not looking at pictures though. Okay, 13 episodes, so we've got a few left. Hi, I'm excited to see where all of that goes. Gosh, I really enjoyed that episode, I thought it was really, really, really good. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me because it really helps me out. Don't forget to click subscribe because it's free and I put up the videos as often as I can. If you want access to the full, uncut, edited and usually early episodes then you can click the link to my Patreon, it will be in the video description down below. Feel free to leave me comments with fake spoilers and head cannons and stuff in the comments because I, I love getting stuff like that. But that's all I've got time for, so I'll see you next time with another video. And until then, haste you back, guys.